After Wednesday's meeting, which ended without reaching an agreement, the federal government and organized labor resumed engagement Tuesday. After a lengthy meeting, both sides came out to a large number of journalists waiting for interview at the presidential villa. On government's part, Chief of Staff to the President, Femi Bajabia Miller, says key issues we had discussed during the closed-door meetings. He said the federal government pleads with Labour to shave its planned nationwide protest bill to take place Wednesday. found uh, listening ears here and they did agree that um, they all accepted that Mr. President's uh, uh, um, broadcast was a welcome development and that they'll go back home to talk to um, the other leaders that are not present today. So we're hopeful that uh, uh, they will do the right thing and call up the strike tomorrow. For their parts, President, Trade Union Congress, Comrade Festus Osifo, and Deputy Secretary of the Nigerian Labour Congress say some gray areas are still yet unresolved. They pointed out that they cannot suspend the planned nationwide protest without engaging and meeting with affiliate union and critical stakeholders. As part of the principle of negotiations, when anything is put on the table, you, you accept, but you push for more. So uh, on our path, we said that what has been put on the table is not sufficient, is not enough, and that they can do more. Every Nigerian out there is waiting, boiling out there to see what we come out of this very meeting. And we had to go back and maybe make presentation to them that this is what government have said and this is what we are thinking we should go about it. So this is the situation we are now. President of the Nigerian Labour Congress, NLC, Comrade Joe Ajero, was visibly absent at the meeting. From the Asarok Presidential Villa, Ikaro Atta, ITV News.